Hi, my name is Malibong Mugaba, the author of All Things Are Possible. I just sat down now to just share with you some ideas that I have on how to better your life and how not to judge yourself with your past experience and all those kind of things. A lot of times I've noticed a lot of people, we judge ourselves because of where we, we're from and, and, and what background we have. Instead of judging ourselves on the abilities that we have and the kind of things that we are able to do. And to share an, uh, an example with you, if you continue to look on your past and see where your faults were and all those things, then you, you, you'll always whine and you'll always have difficulties going forward. But for now, I just wanted to, first before I continue with this topic, to thank uh, my publisher, which is Create Space, for giving me a platform to be known worldwide uh, as an author and, and, and my, my book to be available in almost all online retail shops. And I uh, thank you very much. Big up to them. Uh, another thing that I want to share with you on the topic that I'm talking about, which is looking forward without a doubt, uh, is that most of the time as people, we need to realize that the point of power is in the now. The point of power is in the now. We have no control of the past, it's already happened. We have no control of the future, we don't know what's going to happen. But the point of power is in the now. I recently wrote an update on Facebook and I said that uh, your results or, or, or the, the, the results that you get are not the true re reflection of who you are. And I know a lot of people are asking themselves, why is that? And that's my own opinion, bear in mind. I believe that the results, if I write an exam on the 21st of October, I write an exam there and, and I get the results on the 7th of December. That's a result for me. It's, it's, it's not the true reflection of who I am on the 7th of December. Because between the time I got an opportunity to learn a lot of things, between the time I got an opportunity to do a lot of things that will make me better. And another example to share with you something that will, you, you will, you will, you, you will understand as a person is that one thing, if you get 100% uh, yesterday in your, in your exam or whatever, or there was an effort that you were doing and you gave your thumbs, thumbs up on that effort and you did very well, or there was an article that you were writing or anything that you were doing and you, you actually said, this was my best of my ability. Trust me, if you don't work on, on learning more on whatever you're doing, the next day you'll make a flop. So that's why I'm saying the results or your past results are not the true reflection of who you are. But the true reflection of who you are is what you constantly feed yourself. The things that you feed yourself can determine where you're going. And I want to share before I close this talk is that don't concentrate on your past. Don't concentrate on your future, but concentrate on what you're doing now. A lot of people, uh, my theme for this year is create your own future. And, and when I talk to people about creating your own future, I actually don't even put the word future in my, in my seminar. Because uh, it's only in a heading. Because I believe that we are creating our future each, each and every moment. But what I talk about mostly, I talk about the impact that you need to do in the now. Because the point of power is in the now. It's not in the future. It's not where you come from. But it's in the now. If I were to tell you the struggles that I've been through, if I were to tell you all the challenges, you'll be shocked that I'm such more, I'm so much motivated. You'll be shocked on the kind of things that I've achieved under the circumstances that I'm, I'm at. So just bear in mind, stop whining and just do your thing. Remember, your results, your metric results. If I were to tell you my metric is results, you'll be shocked that I'm actually even uh, speaking so well in English uh, when you get to see my English marks. Uh, you'll be shocked that I'm even able to write so well or when you get my English marks. But that wasn't a true reflection of who, that's not a true reflection of who I am. I did my trick in 2003. That's like 10 years ago I did my trick. That's like exactly 10 years ago. So 10 years ago I was someone else. That's who I was. My results reflect who I was, not who I am. 
So I'm trying to tell you that don't focus on your failure, but focus on going forward. Your failure is a result of who you were, not who you are. So it doesn't mean that because you failed yesterday, you're going to fail today. And be careful. It doesn't mean that you succeeded yesterday, you're going to succeed today. Because being successful, you need to constantly feed yourself with good advice, feed yourself with good things.